Even though we're telling you not only in Chot Mu'ayyad, but for those ladies that come to Shul on Yom Tov or on Shabbat, and unfortunately you see they come in with a full face of makeup, and some of them unfortunately put it on on Yom Tov, Rabbi is being mehalel the Yom Tov. That's Hilul Yom Tov, or if you're doing it on Shabbat, it's Hilul Shabbat. You're not allowed to put on makeup on Shabbat or on Yom Tov. That's soon. So you tell me what certain people do, and the answer is, if you put it on from before Yom Tov and it stays on, there are certain things that are long-lasting, that can stay for a long time, that's Yom Tov. But to put it on on Yom Tov or on Shabbat, it's as soon, and even if you have a party, even if you have a half there, you're going to have to go without. You have to come to shul without makeup. Or if you want to put it on from before Shabbat, you can do that. But it's not, you're not allowed to put it on Shabbat morning or Yom Tov morning to put it on to come. And even though it's a three-day holiday and many ladies are talking about, what are you supposed to do? I don't know what you're supposed to do, but you're not allowed. It's as soon. But there's, in regards to Hula Mu'ayyad, even though we're saying it's a Mu'ayyad, a lady is allowed to put it on on Hula Mu'ayyad. But only Hula Mu'ayyad, not Shabbat and not Yom Tov. And therefore, the men are responsible to tell their wives Halakha. And therefore, you have to go home and make sure the wives know the Halakha is that makeup is mutar on Hula Mu'ayyad. But during Yom Tov and Shabbat, it's forbidden. You're not allowed to put it on. And therefore, those women that are, of course, Shomer Shabbat, Shomer Yom Tov, should be careful not to put on makeup on 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 Shabbat or Yom Tov, uh, even if it may be in, in a difficult situation. Also, he brings down, even though we said men may not take haircuts, they're not allowed to cut their hair, or they're not allowed to shave. However, women, if need be, the lady is allowed to remove her hair during Hula Mu'ayyad. It's not a problem. Ben Besam, Ben Betal, whatever way they put it, they take off their hair. That's not a problem for ladies. They're allowed to remove their hair on, again, on Hula Mu'ayyad. Also, women are allowed put on uh, cologne, they want to put on uh, their own perfumes and whatever it is that they have. It's not a problem, not an issue on Hula Mu'ayyad. It's not 100% according to Halakha.